Hello, I'm uh, Stuart from Inspiring City, and I'm with Owen O'Connor today, and uh, we're in uh, we're in Dalston because Owen's got a show at the Basement Space Gallery, which is a you know gallery we really like, and uh, you know we cover a lot of shows there. So, so this one's called Moments. Hi, Owen. How's it going? Um, tell me about the show first of all. Well, it's 25 pieces, I think, that have been painted over sort of the last six months over my studio on the west coast of Ireland. Yeah, it's sort of just work that's been evolving naturally since March, April when I got back from Australia. Looking forward to putting it up. I've had a bit of a sneak sneak preview, and um, I don't know if you, uh, you well, you do remember, but I, I um, you know, we first met about you know five years ago. Now. It's just when we were starting the blog in Inspiring City, and it was in Shoreditch um, Street Fest. Yeah. Street Fest. Uh, what do you what do you remember about that that time back then, 2012? I think that was probably like the first time that I one of the first times I'd painted in London so it was I don't know it was all new to me it was all fresh like and uh, I'd been to London a few times but um, yeah met some cool people through that and London in general I mean you've been here a few times you know since then you know you're clearly and I've yeah. seen your work you know evolve um, through the years if you were to think about how your work's progressed over those sort of five years how would how would that be uh, I don't know, drastic. I would say it's definitely drastically changed over the last few years. But it, in the last couple of years, I suppose, in the last three or four years, it's just been more refining it. It's not like big leaps. It's more subtle changes and, um, I suppose, letting go of boundaries and trying to, I don't know, explore the medium that I'm using, you know. And what, I mean, how would you describe, you, you know, your work? I've seen you work in the garage, seen you work on the street. Lots of swirls, lots of patterns, lots of sort of the mix of colours, you know, blending in with each other yeah. there. How would you describe it? I suppose the main aspect of just movement. So that I was actually, there was a guy from Scotland called Jonathan came down when I was painting the wall in Brick Lane there. And he completely got it. So basically it's the shoulder and the elbow, it's like a pivot point. So if you, if you look at the pieces, there's certain lines that work off elbow joints or, and just the movements. So it's sort of, I'm not really overthinking what I'm doing. And I paint really fast, so I try not to think about it at all, really. So it just goes down in layers. So this is a, it's like an, an instinctive thing, is it? That's, that's how you create Yeah, I mean, when, when I first started doing it, there was, you know, I had a, a pencil sketch that I worked from. And then I do the sketch up on the wall, and then I, I was very particular that I, wa- I wanted the fade and the lines to be really, really clean. And I wanted to get to the, the goal at that point was to try and get to the, to the stage where I wasn't using a sketch, and I wasn't using, I wasn't sketching it up on the wall. It's just a bit paint naturally without thinking about it. And yeah, I suppose it's it's just gotten to that point, and now I'm not really even. Once I started, I don't really even think about it. So, so it seems like now you, you paint you, your styles become a lot freer. Definitely freer. Uh, the walls that I do, uh, like the ones I did down the, down in Brick Lane this weekend, they're still letter based. It's still still my name, but the canvases are. I see the canvas as a different thing. There's definitely elements that are attached. Yeah, it's, I, I suppose I'd see them as different things, yeah. Tell me about how you, you got started, because you're from you know, the west coast of Ireland. It is not known as a hotbed of street art, uh, or you might tell me different, uh-huh. but, <laughs> you know, and, and you've travelled all, all, all over the world and stuff. So tell me how you got started in the whole thing. Well, I mean, I'm actually from Dublin. But, uh, My from, bad. <laughs> from Dublin, but I live down in, in the West Coast now, yeah. The way I got it into it, I was just... Well, when I was a kid, I used to do a bit of graffiti and stuff, and I got in trouble, so I stopped. And then um, I was always painting. Then the canvases I was doing were just too restrictive of size, so I took a bunch of paint. I think it was like 50 litres of emulsion paint down to an abandoned uh, building site down the road from where I was living just did a wall that night and it was like everything changed from there and progressed then on to did a graffiti festival I think it might have been that summer and they had to use spray paint yeah it's funny because it was like the first time I'd use spray paint and then I was in a line alongside like the TDA clan who are massively respected and amazing painters so it was uh, I suppose thrown in at the deep end it was pretty funny I'd say 
And when, when was there was there a moment that you thought actually okay right I love this this is this is what this is what I do now this is my this is my thing that you thought I'm just gonna yeah, give it all in yeah pretty much from when I first, when I did that first wall like after I did the stuff when I was a kid then just painted and uh, like did sculpture and stuff and then once I did the abandoned building wall it was from that point on it was the scale and so I suppose doing something you're not supposed to be doing and painting outside and all the rest it changed from that point and then from the point of painting with the spray paint at that event uh, the, the spray paint opened up different things and then the way that I arrived at the style that I'm at now was actually I was in Australia and I was running out of paint so I didn't have enough paint to finish the piece that I was doing in the way that I would paint so I changed the way that I was painting and then from that moment on this is the way that I've painted since then like. so it's all been natural progression you know? okay one thing that um, is noticeable about you know, whenever I see your work on, on Instagram the, the, the pictures that really strike me most the ones you'll, you'll choose a really quite a rem- remote location sometimes it's like you, you've scouted um, quite a lot beforehand I'm, I'm guessing that's what you might be doing but they're quite impactful images do you do you go searching for these locations yeah I mean that, that's basically what I did for about I don't know three years I just drove around the country actually well I suppose all over the world painting these abandoned spots generally I, I, I like to paint places that don't have anything like not even a tag just pure virgin walls and to find them I guess you have to go out in the countryside and it just happens that I live there so I don't have to do the extra two hours drive out of the city to get there you know yeah I don't have like legal spots to paint down the road from where I live or anything generally when I do that it's when I'm visiting friends or just socializing and and how do you think people normally, um, you know, how do they react to your work? So either they've seen it in a remote remote spot in the middle of nowhere or they've seen it in the street. How do they uh, react to it? I don't know. That's changed a lot in what that I, what I've painted. Is, like when I was doing the characters and the eyes and stuff, it's something that everybody can respond to and everybody can, can associate with. I think at the moment, me personally, I think it's overdone. Like it's, there's a lot of people painting female faces, looking to the sky and whatever else they're doing. There is some people that are absolutely killing it. Like don't get me wrong, but yeah, when I was doing that, I think the general reaction was very, very positive all the time because it's a nice image. And then when I started doing more, what I'm doing now, I think a lot of people are confused. Yeah. So like, it's letter based. But it doesn't really follow the the rules of graffiti and letter form and that kind of thing. I'm fine with that. I know there's definitely graffiti purists that I'm sure hate the work, and that's understandable. But then there's also uh, graffiti writers that like it because it's something different. I guess it's new or whatever. You see, I would never have guessed in a million years that it was letter based. But then I'm not exactly the most observant character, in, in, you know, in the world. As I look at it, I just. I've got to say, I, I see swirly lines, yeah. I see patterns. I'm, I'm, I'm attracted by it. I like it. It's nice. I don't see letters. Yeah, definitely. The, the walls that I do, I'd say 99% of them are letter-based. The canvases are different. The canvases, some of them are letter-based, but most of them are just the, the flow and the movement of, of uh, what was going on at the time. But and, and Yeah, I, I, I quite like that the letters are... In there, but hidden. And what is it? What is it? Is it just your name? Oh, my name, yeah. Yo, yeah. Oh, wow. Who, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> so, to, um, what keep you too much longer? But into the London scene, you know, you've, you've been um, here a few times now, you're here again. Um, what, what, what's the London scene like for you, and how have you seen it, it, it change over the years? I know it changed a lot, sort of, in the last, I think, 10 to 15 years. I think there was big changes. But, uh, and is there any sort of artists you, you, you look at, you think, actually, you know, I seek inspiration from these guys, or actually these are people that, you know, inspire me in any way? Within London? Uh, actually, let's let's take it broad, or anywhere, really. Yeah, I mean, generally the people that, that inspire me are the ones that are really pushing limits and working more than anyone else. And like, a couple of people that I would name within London would be, like, Two Rise and Tizer are just, like unstoppable 
but yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't directly take inspiration from any other artist, but I'm sure maybe subconsciously something something goes in. But, but there's something about effort and getting yeah, yourself out there. I mean, I know how much I worked over the last sort of, I suppose, five, six, seven years, and I'm sure tizer has been probably doing two or three times as much as that for a lot longer. So uh, you can't help but respect it. Like I don't I don't think anyone could say that he's not working hard enough you know and finally what do people what are people going to expect about moments what's moments about as a show i don't know because i i i feel that it is different to the walls like i think it's more refined there's definitely more layers to it i would like for them to be drawn into it maybe question what they're looking at and what they take from it like it's not imagery based so they're not going to look at it and say oh that's I don't know a deer doing whatever you know it's, it's just I hope it just I suppose evokes some sort of reaction whether it's positive or negative and then when you get it either positive or negative question why you had that reaction to it and that's what I think people should should take from art especially more abstract stuff I suppose that would be the other thing I'd like to see it as a conversation a visual conversation so what the work is saying to you and uh, yeah, what you're reading out of it. And that people can take different things. From yeah, it. definitely. Like, I mean, my take on, on things are going to be completely different to yours or whoever, you know. Um, one of the key things I would like people to see is that it's organic, natural movement. I suppose the, the variation between the, the different elements in it. Something there's quite a lot of energy there, isn't there? Yeah, that's what well, I hopefully. Take from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll leave it at that one. Owen, thanks very much. Thank you very much.